sure to check out angelsgeeks.com for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on, my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil19 here, and I am officially back. Sorry I took a bit of a hiatus. I really needed a break. So without further ado, let's get into it right away and start it off with this third-party company, TMNT line. So right here, we have a prototype of Donatello, which looks fan freaking Fantastic. This looks awesome. And you see Leonardo there on the bottom right as well. And he looks just as awesome. Really dig the way these look. These are some TMNT figures. I've been wanting some company or third-party company to make for the longest time. They kind of look like how they look in the comic books right now. Kind of. So really, really hyped for these. Don't know when they're releasing and don't know too much about them. Once I find out more info, of course, I will let you know in a future figure news video. All right, so next here, NECA just announced some Dungeons and Dragons figures. So on the left, we have War Duke, and then on the right, we have Grimsward or Grimsward or something like that. And they look pretty awesome, man. So right here, we have War Duke, which looks pretty cool. I've never been the biggest Dungeons and Dragons fans, but depending on what the characters look like, maybe I'll get some. And you can see his accessories here. Now for Grimsward, Grimsward. Uh, he looks pretty cool, and he has some dope accessories as well. That's a six sword, and then I forgot what that weapon's called with that spiked ball, but these things look pretty cool so far. I know Hasbro started making some, but they just made that one character, and then haven't heard anything about it since. Alrighty, so now for Storm Collectibles with our Mortal Kombat line, we are getting an MK3 version, Reptile, and he's going to be releasing the fourth quarter of the year, so October through December, and he is up for pre-order right now so if you never got the original reptile you can pre-order this one today like what i did and he is included with some pretty cool accessories we have the masked ninja head sculpt and the unmasked reptile head sculpt eight alternate hands the tongue shooting out along with his venom and then we do get some other circular venom accessory as well so he is included with a decent amount of stuff and that hood also but the figure looks great you could tell it is the MK3 version of Scorpion and Sub-Zero, just Reptile style. And Reptile has always been one of my favorite ninjas for Mortal Kombat. So really hyped for this guy to release. Now moving on to Mafex Medi Medicom toy. Right here, we're going to be getting the Batman animated series Joker. And he's going to be releasing next summer, which will be July of 2022. But he did recently go up for pre-order. So if you want to get this animated series Joker, you can pre-order him right now. And the Joker is included with two interchangeable head sculpts. On the left, we do get a regular smiling one. Then on the right, we either get a laughing one or, or a talking head sculpt, whichever you want to use it for. And then he's also included with a wallet, a knife, and then we do get uh, some money and then some money folded up in a paper airplane. And personally, me, I'm not a fan of these designs from the animated series of Batman, but the figure does look cool and, and looks true to how it how he looked in the animated series. The next tier, what I am very hyped for, we are getting the Mafex Black Suit Spider-Man, and he's gonna be releasing the same time as Joker, July of 2022, and he did also recently go up for pre-order, so if you wanna get this awesome symbiote Spider-Man, you can pre-order him today. And we do get three interchangeable head sculpts with Spidey here, so on the left, I guess that's the basic angry one in the middle, a little more angry looking, and then we do get the unmasked bearded Peter Parker head sculpt, and all three of them look great. And then we do get six types of webbing and then the webbing backpack, but I dig the way the figure looks, man. Uh, Mafex, to me, I think they are killing it with their comic version characters, whether it be Marvel or DC. I loved the regular comic version Spider-Man, and this one looks pretty much just like that one, just re-sculpted a bit, and, and I think it looks great, man. I'm really hyped for this. This is one of my favorite Spider-Man suits. And now moving on to SH Figure Arts. Right here we have The Mandalorian Season 2, The Mandalorian, and we have Boba Fett. And these are going to be releasing the begin, beginning of next year, January 2022, and they are up for pre-order right now. Don't know if they're web exclusives or P Bandai exclusives or not. I'm pretty sure they are. But Boba Fett here looks dope, man. I, I think I'm definitely going to have to cop this. I know a lot of Boba Fett fans are probably pretty hyped for this figure here 
as well. And then Mando here, the Beskar Armor Mando from Figure Arts, skyrocketed in price. And this one, it has some added accessories like the spear. Uh, we do get the bag with Baby Yoda. I think that's uh, like a more statuish Baby Yoda without, it's not the regular release. They kind of redid a new one, which is pretty cool. But uh, yeah, man, I think I might end up getting both of them. Not 100% sure on that yet though. Now for the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball line, right here we have Dodoria, finally, and he is going to be releasing beginning of next year, February of 2022, and he is up for pre-order as well, and I'm pretty sure he is a P. Bandai website exclusive. Hate those damn P. Bandai exclusives, but he is included with the seven star Dragon Ball alternate head sculpts, and then you could also have Vegeta break off his arms. Not sure if the arms come off. They probably do, though. But I think the figure looks really nice, man. And and getting cooler, I, I, I know they're, they're going to do a kick-ass job with Dodori here. Now can't wait for Zorbon. All right, and next here we have the 2021 New York Comic Con exclusive, and it is the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. And he's going to be releasing, of course, at New York Comic Con. And I think he looks pretty damn awesome. I know... Demonical Fit or Demoniacal Fit made one, so Tamashi Nations is just slapping them in the face with this one. But I believe he's also included with the effect as well. So pretty cool looking Goku figurine here. All right, so last from SH Figure Arts, they just teased this silhouette here of a figure. And it is pretty plainly obvious who it is. That definitely is Deadpool. But which version? Are they going with a comic version? Me, I highly doubt it. I'm 99.9% .9 sure this is the movie version of Deadpool, which I am super stoked and hyped for. So definitely going to get this when it does release. Curious to see what it looks like. I'm pretty sure we'll see the reveal, possibly at New York Comic Con or maybe earlier. So really hyped for it. What version of Deadpool do you think it is? Let me know in the comments. All right, so last year, Das and Model is giving us another Kenshin figure, and it's a proper Batosai figure, and it just released and you don't need to pre-order it because he is available right now i did order mine a few days ago from 5k toys you could also get it from china model toys as well but you can see he's included with six alternate faces i think the only new one is the one where it's halfway blacked out which i'm glad they included that and he pretty much has the same accessories as the previous kenshin figures that they did release same stand and, and everything as well but yeah man i am super happy about this because they did make us a uh, regular kenshin in the pink and then they gave us an alternate blue one but the thing with that one it wasn't a proper bateau side version because his ponytail is higher up now with this one that is what they did and i like how it's kind of waving around and i do believe it is on a ball hinge so really really excited for this their kenshin figures to me were pretty much perfect I just wish the scaling was proper six inch scale. Besides that, these are fantastic figures. If you love Kenshin Batosai, I do highly recommend the hell out of getting this. It is available right now, so you can order it. But anyway, that is all of the action figure news I have for you as of right now. And I most certainly will catch you on the next video on Daredevil. 19. I'll see all you later.